Hello again, everyone. Uh, I thought I'd just take a few moments to talk you through adding fractions with the same denominator. Now, this was the first task we had this week, uh, but I thought I'd talk you through just different ways of representing it so we can really sort of reinforce that knowledge of adding fractions and see what it looks like in different ways. So I'm starting with, uh, right, I've already put it in here, two tenths add one tenth equals three tenths. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that in a number sentence. So I need to draw uh, two tenths in a number sentence. So we start with the numerator at the top, which is the number of parts of the whole that we've got. And I put the denominator at the bottom. And we, we are in tenths here, which means my whole is split up into tenths. So I have got two equal parts of a whole that is split up into 10. And I'm adding that to 1 tenth. You'll have to excuse the messy handwriting, but doing this on a computer, as I'm sure some of you have found out, is quite tricky. And um, the writing already says that that is equal to 3 tenths. Okay. That means that we've got two parts of one whole here out of 10 and one part out of 10 here. And if we added those together, we would get three parts out of 10 or three tenths. So moving on to drawing it, I'm going to represent in the first uh, square, in the first whole, the two tenths. So I'm going to shade in, or in this case, put counters on two of the tenths. Notice these are holes. This is a whole shape and it splits up into 10 equal parts. And I've selected two out of the 10. So that is two tenths of the whole. And I'm going to add one tenth. So I'm going to choose a different color this time to show that it is a different uh, fraction that we're adding. And there's one tenth there. And if I add them together, I want two tenths in yellow and the one tenth in green, which added together should make three tenths. One, two, three parts out of my whole shape, out of the ten parts in the whole shape, uh, coloured. So that is three tenths. Now on a part, part, whole, we know the whole is equal to three tenths, as we've just proved. So I can start with my whole as three tenths. And the two parts making up that are two tenths and one tenth. Okay, moving on to the next slide. I've now got two fifths and one fifth equals, ooh, well, here I don't have the answer yet. So I will need to figure that out. But why don't we start by writing the number sentence and see if we can get to the, uh, the writing bit at the end. So I've got two fifths, and we're gonna add one fifth. Now, as we know, we add the denominators, we, uh, the numerators, sorry, we do not add the denominators because this is just out of uh, how much, <coughs> this is just the, uh, the number of parts the whole is split up into. So, two fifths add one fifth equals two add one equals three, so it's three fifths. Oh dear. We'll try that again. Three fifths. Now let's draw it. Here's where things get slightly more interesting. I've got two fifths, but I've still got here my whole split up into ten pieces. But what I've noticed is that the whole is also split up into five pieces. 
if we look at it like this. So there's one piece, there's two pieces, there's three, four and five. So if I want two fifths, I need to colour in two of the uh, vertical columns. So one, two fifths there. But that's the, also the same as four tenths. Interesting to see. And now I need to add one fifth. So I'll use red this time. One fifth will be that part. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. And I've got one out of five and two out of five, two fifths here. So together, give me a moment to do all the clicking. I've got my two fifths in the hole and then another one fifth. So together, that makes one, two, three fifths, which is also the same as six tenths. So you could say six tenths, but use a simpler fraction, it's the same as three fifths. Okay, so now we've found out the answer. I can finish off my writing. Two fifths add one fifths equals three fifths. Okay, now the final thing to do is to fill in my part part hole. So the answer is three fifths, and that's made up of a two fifths and a one fifth. I will make this template available for you to have a go and, and do some of your own additions by writing it, uh, doing a number sentence, drawing it and doing a part part whole if you like. Uh, remember it's really important when we're doing um, any sort of maths to show it in lots of different ways because that really proves that we understand the maths behind it. Okay, thanks for listening and good luck.